Okay, so this is going to be a quick, quick crash course in end behavior and how it works. Uh, well, as far as geometry goes, right? So <clears throat> really fast, let's just get a literal definition. So what is the end behavior of a function? Um, basically, we say that a function has two end behaviors. It has left end behavior, right? Which is um, as x approaches negative infinity, what does the function approach, right? And then, of course, you also have the right end behavior. As x approaches positive, uh, positive infinity, what does the function itself uh, approach as we go to the right? So let's look at an example um, here. We've got this function f of x. Obviously, it's quadratic. If I had this unfactored, right, it'd be x squared plus 2x if I distributed that x there. And we see we have a parabola. Um, we see its x-intercepts are going to be at negative 2 and 0, which is easily derived from looking at the factored form. Um, its y-intercept is easily derived from either one. We have no constant, so we see that y-intercept is also 0. It's only going to have this one point of inflection here at negative 1 by 1. Right, and of course, the degree of the polynomial is second degree, one, two, or when we multiply it out, we have that, or one, two x-intercepts, you get the idea. There's multiple ways to tell, okay? And then, of course, I already wrote it out in standard form. Um, now, let's talk about uh, this lesson's namesake. It's end behavior. So let's start on the left end. So on the left end, as x approaches negative infinity, so as we go to the left, as x approaches negative infinity, we see that f, right, approaches positive infinity. Okay, on the flip side, it's right end behavior. As x goes to the right or approaches uh, positive infinity, goes to positive infinity, we see that f also will go to positive infinity. Okay, so it's left and right end behavior are identical. We're approaching plus or minus infinity, or my bad, we're approaching positive infinity either way. Okay, so here we have another example, right? And if we look at this, so this is g of x here in orange, uh, we see that it's a third degree polynomial, right? So it should have three x intercepts. If we factor this out, okay, and that is a typo that I'm going to have to fix before I share this video with you. Or not the video, it's too late for that. I already started the video. But anyway, uh, that is a typo that I'm going to have to take care of before like, I share the lesson with you. Anyway, so if we factor this out, right, we would get that we have these three uh, intercepts. So that would be x plus 2 times uh, x plus 1 times x, right? So this would be the factored form, right? And we can tell that from looking at the geology of the function, the geology, the geometry of the function. Sorry, I think I drank my coffee way too fast. Uh, anyway, so in standard form, it's already in standard form. Okay, and now looking at its end behavior, right? So left end behavior, let's look down here. So as x approaches negative infinity, um, we see that g approaches negative infinity also because we're decreasing infinitely, right? Okay, and our right end behavior uh, is simply going to be as x approaches positive infinity, goes to the right, that g also approaches positive infinity. Okay, so that does it for this video. Um, end behavior is a very simple concept. Uh, if you have any questions over it, obviously let me know. Otherwise, goodbye.